left. And Tom, as has been the habit of late, Tenzing Mansky, the sophomore goalkeeper, getting the midweek start. Yeah, coach. Base, Sargent, the heavy overlap. He'll find Kieran. Kieran to his left foot. Kieran across. And it's cut out nicely there. Speedy Lanier is in minute five. Great hook slide by Buck. Hoy is with a chance. Oh, and it's cut out. Hoy is here in the 10th minute, yet to imprint their style on this match. And a turnover carelessly by Jennings. It's Newsom from distance, a drive and a goal. It's a brilliant finish. It wasn't Newsom, it was Omar Ab Abadalab. And the Hoyas concede an early advantage. And that is an absolute screamer. And I was just thinking the last couple of games, Villanova and St. John sat back. The Seahawks pressed Georgetown and Jennings gives up control of the ball. And then this is from about 33 yards out. And that is just hit on a rope for Coach Weiss responds. Linares to the end line. Good service across the face, and Vieira hits wide, and Vieira will be disappointed, did not get a good piece of that. Yeah, it looked like Gabe Mercer kind of did enough to distract him, but that's one of those things, you actually don't have to take a big swing. I think Vieira tries to take too big of a swing. You just want to get good, clean contact, hit it back across the goal mouth, right? The goal side this year is he's raved about the depth, and Mansky does well with that service. Raving about the depth, and Merle gets his first touch. Here's Zange. Merle wants it back. He'll get it back. Tight angle. And harmless there. Jones concedes possession. Vieira. Now Zange. Wide. A great chance for the sophomore. But he was bothered by the on-rushing Bennett Jones. Yeah, Bennett Jones, we talked about it. His first career game came out, took the angle down nicely, but this is a chance as this ball drops to Zenge that he wants to do better. He also could have slipped the ball back to Merle, but either way, that is a golden chance that Zenge missed. Kyle, ball into the mixer. Now Nielsen. Up from a center back position, a shot, and just wide. Nielsen thought it was deflected. Yeah, it looked deflected from this vantage point as well. And you talk about an infusion of energy. We have seen Kenny Nielsen come forward. Pin the Seahawks in. Here's Tabora, now Nielsen. Back post headed by Zange. And Tom, there's a classic case. I remember when we played for Coach Keith Tabatsik, one of the common expression ones, expect the ball to come to you. Zenge completely flat-footed there. Here's Zenge in a pocket of space again. We'll keep the dribble going. Shot from distance, save, rebound, Merle! Goal, it's Jacob Merle, his 10th of the year. And Zenge, the shot that set it all up. And Georgetown's leading scorer just hunts that goal, follows in the rebound and wins the race to tap it in. Zenge, another good opportunity. And Bennett Jones probably wants to do better with that. Talked about his first career start, but that ball wasn't hit with a ton of pace from Zenge, but credit to Jacob Merle. Always follow those shots. Pass, ultimately finds Norris. Good Seahawk possession. Cassis peels away, left footed shot from distance. That time Mansky grabs it with a quick release from Pep Cassis. Yeah, Cassis with a, with a quick turn and a great shot. That Mansky does well here. And just a little spin turn away on that left foot. And second opportunity from distance. Marlon will likely try to get left, he does. Good ball to Peretti, across the face, over Jones's head. Oh, and they're gonna say- And they're gonna say goal. And it's Cole Peretti, the misplay by Bennett Jones. The assistant referee signaled goal immediately the with confidence. He did, the flag went up immediately as Tabor with a really good disciplined dribble at the top of the box and Peretti hits that one across and
that is a tough angle for us to see if that fully crossed the line. Again, that doesn't look like a goal to me. It's a really tough angle. And Tom, I don't know if the experimental VAR is available today as it's been for some of the Big East Conference matches, and it is. But it was Jake Shannon who did a good job. Tom, I don't see any sign that this goal is being called off. To host a game next Saturday. This buck looks for Sargent. Jones off his line. Sargent plays in across in a good sliding tackle by Jaden Strumeyer. Yes, Strumeyer did well because Dillo got to that ball first. That was another good ball Inbeam has exhibited in the attacking third, but lots of times guys trying to hit hero balls through and behind. And Tom, that'll do it for the first half. Bit of a strange midweek affair. The UNC Wilmington Seahawks striking first. One of the most experienced teams in the country in terms of players who've played on that same team with one another. Yeah, as we first up top, here's one of those seniors, Linares, keeps it in play. And that first touch from Kyle, too heavy. Yeah, more been, of a deep line roll today. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been a frustrating day for Mercer. Not frustrating for this man. Cassis, his shot, he used the screen of the Georgetown center backs, but Mansky read it. He did, not Dan, that's about the third time today that the Seahawks have been able to drive with the ball at their feet. They scored the first goal. I mean, this is a 15 or 20 yard dribble. No one steps to the ball. Tommy Summers. I think on the whiteboard, it looks better than even on the training ground. It's just a difficult angle that center where that ball's put center of the goal. Good touch from Zange. Shot is blocked. Jones, a good save. Rebound, Linares a drive and a goal. Kyle Linares, fourth of the year. And the senior makes it 3-1 Hoyas. And for the second time today, the Hoyas score off of a rebound from Zenge. That one Jones did a lot better with, but Kyle Linares, who got off such to, to such a hot start to the season, this is a great strike from Zenge. Jones parries it wide, and Linares makes no mistake on that, hitting that first time. Talk about the depth, Linares now, with four goals and three assists. This Georgetown team, six players with at least three. As you said, Tom, there is space galore. Linares running at Norris. He'll cut inside. Linares, a shot, it's blocked. Oh. Great ball from Zange to Tabora. Marlon back to Zange. And a good tackle by Jake Shannon. Yeah, Jake Shannon's been really good there, I think, for Zange as that ball is played back into him as Tabora just runs through that challenge. Tabora has Zange, he'll find him. He's off sides. Jacob's on side. He's got a few runners. Triple step over. A couple of goals off of kind of second balls that get knocked out and Jennings can score at the back post. Howard finds Zange. Across the face, a shot, and it's a goal, and it's Max Jennings, his fourth of the year for the center back. He remained up after the corner kick was cleared, and it's 4-1 Hoyas. Jennings among the country's leaders in center back goals. The fourth goal for Jennings, and I was just commenting about how Georgetown has scored some goals and kind of second balls and kind of resets off of corners, and. Jennings stays in a good position like he's a striker. Zenge loops that one in for assist number three on the day. And What is a hat trick of assists called? A hat trick of assists? Whatever it is, Zeng is historically one of the least carded teams in the country. As Morello's shot sales and Tom, at some point, as we see Howard, Howard clips the ball, looking for Merle, header over. And Merle will want that to do over again. A great early ball from Eric Howard. It was, and I was actually watching the run for Merle the entire time. 
He made a great run to the near post. The good timing. And he just, the timing on the run was great to get inside. And he didn't catch the ball at the top to head it down. On. Here's Eric Howard. Howard, educated ball, finds Merle. Merle, past Jones, across the face. Strumeyer able to clear. <laughs> to play a scholastic ball at Shattuck St. Mary's. Good ball from Van Horn. Jennings over the top, and that's the second high quality service from Van Horn today. Yeah, you say good ball. I think that is a great ball. Good pace on it. Morel Rio. No, Hornaday. Morel Rio from distance. Manskin collects that. Van Horn now to Dillo. He's on side. Ronan Dillo. Fancy feet from Dillo. Oh, and he can't connect with Van Horn. Big branch might have something to say about it. Good peel away by Peretti. Finds Dillo. Dillo wants to get to his right foot. Shot is blocked. Peretti, heavy touch, but he gets away with it. And he'll win the boy as a corner. Horn looks very solid on these restarts. This time a looping ball looking for Rumley. Headed across just wide. Bingo card today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Restart, Mansky. Good strong hands from the sophomore. And even more congrats. Country in support of Brian. Yeah, no kidding. Hanover, New Hampshire, South Bend, Indiana. Palo Alto, California, and now the nation's capital. And that will do it from Shawfield, that man.